All right, good day everyone. Welcome to my channel, Sir Joe's Math Class. So at this point of time, we'll be uh, solving all about problems involving trigonometric functions. So we have here four problems. I'll be presenting first the first problem. So the first problem states that an observer at A, C figure, so this is our figure, 1,110 feet from and on the level with the base of the Washington Monument. Cites its top and finds that the angle is such that tangent is equal to one half. Find the height of the monument. So in this case, if we're going to have a two overlapping triangle, if we're going to illustrate here, like this for you to understood easily so if this is the A here so tangent is opposite over the adjacent which is 2 and in the bigger triangle which is this 110 feet 1110 feet so in this case, we need to find the height of the monument, which is R y. Since given the tangent is equal to one half, so we could say that this is, in this case, this is two, and this is one, the opposite over the adjacent. There is a smaller triangle here, and this is the bigger triangle. So therefore, this is in a form of ratio and proportion. So in ratio and proportion, we have to find 1 over 2. So this 1, 1 over 2. Of course, when you have the ratio starting with here, y over 1,100 feet. So these are the two triangles nag overlap ang two triangles na center part nandun po sa loob ang isang triangle that's why it is a ratio between the two triangles if we're going to look at this is the bigger triangle and this is the smaller one and this is the ratio of the smaller one one half when it comes to tangent so now just cross multiply so this is 1110 feet so, Ry is equal to 1,100 feet divided by 2. So, therefore, Y is equal to 555 five, five feet. So, this is the height of the monument. Okay. Do you understood? So, again, let's go back here. So in the problem, we have 110 feet from on the level with the base of Washington, sides the top and find the angle A such that tangent, so there is a ratio of tangent 1 over 2. As what I have understood about the problem, I had a two triangles which is in ratio. So the first is smaller and the bigger triangle in ratio. So the tangent A is 1 over 2, and it is opposite over the adjacent. Of course, we need to look for the height, which is Y, and the length from A to the monument is equal to 110 feet. So therefore, in the ratio, 1 half is equal to Y over 110 feet, 2Y is equal to 110 feet, Y is equal to 555 feet height of the monument so this is the height of the monument here so this is just a two overlapping triangle that is is the first is the inner and the outer part and talks about the ratio of the triangle okay all right let's continue with our discussion number two this is the problem i got this one in a Kells, Kern, and Bland. 
So figure represents a ladder leaning against the side of the house. If the ladder is 26 feet long and cosine is equal to 1 fourth, how far is the foot of the ladder from the house? So what we are looking here is here. From the foot of the ladder to the house. So we need to find the value for our x here. But take note, there is a greater or there is a bigger part here, the ratio of the two triangles because given the cosine is equal to 1, 1 over uh, the cosine adjacent. The cosine is equal to the adjacent rather, adjacent over the hypotenuse which is 4. So in this case, we have here the two triangles, the smaller one. On A, this is A rather, A. So this is 1 because that is cosine. So cosine is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse which is 4. And in the given problem, we have the bigger triangle in here in the ladder. We have 26 feet but we need to find the value for of the foot of the ladder from the house. So it talks about ratio and proportion. So let's have the ratio. 1 over 4 is equal to x over the 26 feet. So therefore we have 4x is equal to 26 feet. So, x is equal to 26 feet over 4. The resulting one is 6 and 1 half feet. So, therefore, the length of this part is equal to 6 and 1 half feet. Okay? So, again, this is all about ratio and proportion or ratio between the two triangles okay do you have questions okay so next we have the problem number three the length of the string between a kite and a point on the ground is 255 feet if the string is straight and mixed with the level ground, an angle whose tangent is 15 over 8, how high is the kite? So let us have first in this problem. The length of the string. So this is from this part to the kite flying. This is the kite. Okay. This is 255 feet. If the string is straight and makes the level of the ground whose tangent. So, nag tangent siya into tangent is opposite over the adjacent. The question is how high is this part? So, how high? So, still you have here the greater or the bigger and smaller triangle that is overlapping this part. This is the ratio and proportion. The ratio between the two triangles. Let us have first the smaller triangle, which is the tangent. Tangent is equal to 15 over 8. And since we don't have the ratio of 255, because if we're going to have the greater triangle here, this is 255, and we need to look for the y. But still, we don't have the ratio here. We need to get the ratio of these three sides. So, to get for this one, we have the hypotenuse is equal to 8 squared, the square root of 8 squared, plus... 15 squared. So the height here is equal to 70. So therefore, 
we could say that this is 17 and this would make the ratio. Bakit po kailangan natin kunin ang 17? Because wala tayong maka, hindi tayo makapag-ratio sa 17 to 255, the x and 255 because this is given and no ratio to this part. That's why we need to get 17 to 255, 15 to y para magkaroon tayo ng ratio. So in order to get the ratio or the the value for y which is the height of the kite, we have 17 over 255 feet is equal to ay, hindi pala, pwede pala uh, ganyan 17 over 15 is equal to 255 feet over the y smaller is one smaller triangle compared to the bigger triangle so 17 y is equal to 255 feet times 15 17 y is equal to this part so the auto we have y is equal to 255 feet times 15 divided by 17 so our y here is if we're going to calculate we have 225 feet and that is the height and this is the height of the kite here so 225 feet from this part this is the height of the kite from this ground to the kite so by the use of ratio and proportion we could be able to find the height of the kind. All right. Thank you for number three. Okay, so we are now in number four. Find the lengths of Y and Z in the figure if sine A is equal to 3 fifth and cot B is equal to 12 over 5. In this case, this is a continuous process of the two ratios of the two triangles. So, in this case, atin i-chop-chop ito para hindi tayo maguluhan. So, first thing that we're going to do is we need to chop this part, the bigger triangle. We have this part. So, 50 and the y. And stated that the ratio of sine A is equal to the smaller triangle here. Here's... 3 over sine uh, 3 over 5 this is A so sine man so opposite over the hypotenuse which is 5 so now masusob na po natin ang Y because of these two ratios so 5 over 3 is equal to 50 over Y so cross multiply so you have 5Y is equal to 150 so y is equal to 30 so if you have 13 y we will make use of this one to this problem so in this problem we have I illustrate natin pabalik tad here so if this is 30 and this is our Z and this is our question mark since given that the cot tangent B is equal to 12 over 5 so we will make another triangle here for the ratio so this is our B so what is cot? cot is equal to the adjacent so therefore the adjacent is equal to 12 over 5 so 12 what is the adjacent here? adjacent so 12 over 5, ang ating pong adjacent is equal to adjacent over 12 and 5. Since kailangan po natin and we need to have the ratio of Z here, we need to find because hindi na gagamitin natin yung 2 to find for the, the value for our hypotenuse because the give is 30 and the Z here. So 5 squared 
the square root of this one in order for you to hypotenuse plus 12 squared. So we come up that the value for our z is equal to, our h is equal to 13. So now, meron na po tayong ratio which is 13 for the hypotenuse here. So in this case, we have now the ratio which is 5 over 13, right? 5 over 13 is equal to 30 over the z. So, just cross multiply, 5z is equal to 30 times 13, that is 390. So, z is equal to 390 divided by 5, the result is 78. So, now, we have now the value for z and the value for y, which is 30. So, I hope everyone, ito po ay continuous ratio of the two triangles from here. And the y here is being used to get the value for our z. So, I hope you learned something today. And I'll be leaving you another problem for this session. Okay, so I'll be leaving you another activity to solve. Find the lengths of the two smallest line segments in figure. If tangent A is equal to 3 fourth, you note that cosine A is equal to 4 over 5. That is drawn to scale. So, I hope everyone, you will leave your comments there on the chat box or in the comment section. I hope everyone, you would have to uh, give your best in answering this problem. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you learned something today.